Welcome to a video taking a look at changing the subject of the formula. In this video we're going to go through some basics examples of changing the subject of the formula. Now when we ask to do this it simply means that and if we take a look at this example here instead of having y is equal to something we are being asked to express x in terms of y that means that we are looking to change the subject of the formula to x. At the moment the subject of the formula is y we want it to be x. So what we need to do is we need to apply the same methods that we would apply to solving equations. So at the beginning I'm looking to try to get x on its own. I want to express x in terms of y. I want to change the subject of the formula to x. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the plus 2. I don't want this plus 2, it's on the same side as the 3x. It's, it's, it's getting in the way at the moment. So to get rid of the plus 2, I'm simply going to subtract 2. So what that leaves me with is y minus 2 is equal to 3x. Now at this point, I'm nearly there. I've got y minus 2 is equal to 3x. What I'm looking to do is just get x on its own. I don't want this 3 in front of it. So this 3 in front of it, that means to multiply x by 3. So how can I get rid of multiply by 3? To get rid of this I'm simply going to divide by 3. So that means that if I take y minus 2 and divide it by 3 I can say that that is y minus 2 over 3 and that has just left me with x. So expressing x in terms of y for this example here it would be x is equal to y minus 2 over 3. Let's take a look at uh, this formula here. Hopefully you're familiar with this formula. This formula is simply the formula for the area of a circle. So area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. We're being asked to make r the subject of this formula. So the first thing that we are going to do is we need to try to get to a position where we've got r is equal to something else. Okay, at the moment we've got a is equal to. And so a is the subject of the formula now. We're trying to make it r. So the way in which I'm going to do this, I, I need to get rid of, first of all, let's get rid of the pi. We've got pi r squared. This means pi times the radius squared. So to get rid of this times by pi, we're going to divide by pi. And so what we're left with is a divided by pi is equal to r squared. Now the next thing that we're going to do is, well at the moment we've got r squared, we want just r on its own. So how could we, how can we undo this squaring of r? Well the way in which we're going to do that is we're simply going to square root. So if we square root r, that means that would give us, uh, sorry, if we were to square root r squared, that, that undoes the squaring. What we're left with is r is equal to the square root of a divided by pi. Okay, next one. We're being asked to make t the subject of the formula. So here we've got v is equal to u plus a t first thing that we're going to do is, again, we're trying to get t on its own on one side. But at the moment we've got this u in the way. So to get rid of that, we're simply going to subtract it. So we get v minus u is equal to a t. Now we're trying to get t the subject. We're trying to get t the subject. So what we're going to do is simply to divide by a. So remember that a t means a multiplied by t. We want to get rid of the a. To get rid of that a, we simply divide by a. So here we can say that t is equal to v minus u divided by a. Next one, we've got v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. We've been asked to make u the subject. So the first thing that we're going to do, we want to get u on its own. 
to get U on its own we're simply going to get rid of the plus 2AS so get rid of plus 2AS that gives us V squared minus 2AS and that is equal to U squared now we've got U squared on its own similar to how we had R squared here all that we're going to do to get rid of the U squared is square root it undo the squaring and so what we end up with is u is equal to the square root of v squared minus 2as.